Hello everyone, Denise Carpenter from lotuswings.ca here and we're going to continue on with the conversations of with Denise playlist. But before we do, um, if, if, uh, if you're okay and Mary Blackmore is okay, we'll just take these masks off. Mary and I are sitting, uh, we're social distance, we're six feet apart. Neither one of us has COVID, so we're very, very safe when we do this. And today we're going to have a conversation with uh, Mary Blackmore from Blackmore Wellness. Mary is a registered homeopath. She works out of the Lotus Wings Clinic at 30 North Street on Saturdays and um, is amazing, is all I can say. So welcome to Conversations with Denise Mary. And today we're going to talk about homeopathy as a whole. So could you, could you help us? So if I were to come to you not really knowing what homeopathy was about, how would you help me feel comfortable with your practice? Well, I think, Denise, um, first of all, I would explain uh, to you what homeopathy is mm -hmm. and try to explain it at a high level because it can be kind of complicated. Yeah. And really, homeopathy is energy medicine. So it's giving the body a nudge to heal itself. Mm -hmm. And how we do this is, you know, I will sit down and have an interview with you mm -hmm. and a chronic condition would probably take one to two hours. We would go okay. through a lot of questions from head to toe. Mm -hmm. um, we talk about mental and emotional issues mm -hmm. um, as well as anything physical. Okay. And what we're trying to do is find the best match between the characteristics of remedies and your characteristics or your symptoms. Okay. And it's the best match that uh, is going to decide what the remedy for you would be. Okay. Now, it's not always easy to find that right away. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll get a remedy to begin with, and we'll need to tweak it a little bit. Um, sometimes, like, it'll depend on the potency, like how strong it is. Mm -hmm. So always we want to give the minimum dose because we don't, we want to do no harm. Yes. It's the same in, in the medical field, do yeah. no harm. Yeah. So we start at a low dose mm -hmm. and we move up. Okay. So if you tolerate the remedy, we might go up in potency if it's necessary. Sometimes we might need to change the remedy, but it's very individual. Okay. So that two people, if you came to me with a condition mm -hmm. and someone else came to me with the same condition, I might give you both different remedies because mm -hmm. your mix of symptoms, we're looking at the totality of your symptoms, not just the symptoms that are your chief complaints. Okay. And I might give you both different remedies. Okay. Do you have an example that you could share with us? Well, example, uh, the easiest example is uh, colds and flus, right? Okay. Because um, not everyone gets them the same way. That's For example, right. I know myself, if I get a cold, um, there's a particular remedy that um, I use all the time. It's called Allium Sepa, which mm -hmm. is made from the onion. Okay. And, and it's like cures like. Mm -hmm. So if you're peeling onions, what are you going to do? You're going to cry. You're going to get some tears coming. Yes. And that's what happens to me. I get a runny nose and my eyes water. Oh, okay. And the Allium Sepa works for me. Mm -hmm. Other people don't get that right away. They might start with a flu. Mm -hmm. So if they feel all achy and miserable, mm -hmm. I might give them something called gelsemium, okay. which is really good for achiness and weakness. Excellent. Excellent. So it's so individualized then. Yes. So that would be one of the benefits of coming is it's to see you is the, the remedy is absolutely geared to your system, to your, your physical, emotional, mental system. Yes. It's okay. never a one size fits all okay. ever. It's specifically tailored to what symptoms you are manifesting. Okay. And that also speaks to the length of the first appointment then. Yes. Like you really have to dig and become quite familiar with that person's makeup. Yes. before you would prescribe. That's yeah. especially, yes, for a chronic condition, yeah. for, for acute like colds and flus and, mm -hmm. and other first aid type things. It's mm -hmm. very, you don't need to go through the full chronic interview. Okay, so first aid, I didn't realize you could do first aid. Yep. What would that look like? What would that look like? Um, so bee stings, for oh. example, um, there's a particular remedy called apis. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say the full name of it, but I mean, <laughs> that's something that I have in my little kit that I carry around with me. Yes. Um, that's great for bee stings. Another one, calendula. Mm -hmm. um, and I often use a salve. I think I posted recently on, on my blog mm -hmm. about how to make a calendula salve. And I keep mine in, in my kitchen so that oh. if I get any cuts and scrapes, like yeah. I always do, um, <laughs> it's right there for me to be able to rub on it. But, yeah, but it is something that you can take internally as well. Excellent. And where would people find your blog? Like if they're looking for helpful hints, mm -hmm. where would they find your blog? It's on my website at blackmorewellness.ca. 
homeopathy.com. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. And if people are looking to book an appointment with you, how would they do that? They can do that through my website also, or they can call me at 613-777-8869. Wonderful. Okay. So you're, and you're also on the Lotus Wings website. Yes. Yeah. So lotuswings.ca on the practitioner's page. That's correct. Your website is blackmorewellnesshomeopathy.com. Mm -hmm. And then your phone number, we're going to list Mary's phone number and um, contact information underneath this video. So you'll be able to go there as well to find it. So thank you so much, Mary. That's, uh, that's very clear. And, and again, I just wonder do you mind if I just say a little bit about how you helped me? Oh, that's quite when, right. <laughs> when we first met, Mary had only been here at the clinic for, I don't know, just a few months. And uh, my heart stopped working, so I needed to have a pacemaker put in. And I'm, I'm reliant on the pacemaker to stay alive. But my body is a little bit fussy, so it decided to be allergic to the pacemaker. And Mary very diligently went through all of the components of the pacemaker and figured out what parts of the pacemaker my body was reacting to and then gave me the remedies to help my body find peace with that component. So here I am three years later, pacemaker intact. The surgery is finally healed up. I don't have a toxic load on my system anymore. And uh, I am most grateful to Mary Blackmore. So thank you so much. Well, you're quite welcome. <laughs> so thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you have any questions about homeopathy, please give Mary a call. And as I said before, her contact info will be underneath this video. Denise Carpenter from lotuswings.ca wishing you a very healthy, happy day. And thank you for joining us.